Hello and welcome to another BF Extended Cinematic Tools tutorial. Today we're taking a look at a very exciting new feature, the Effects Spawner, which I'll get to in just a moment. Firstly, if you're new to Cinematic Tools, check out my previous videos in this playlist. And if you find you're getting good use out of the tools themselves, I encourage you to visit this page on the Cinematic Tools website. Click this button and enter a large number here. Hattiwati continues development of this fantastic set of tools uh, and new features are continually being added over time, making them more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Let's get down to business then and the latest update which came earlier today features the effects spawning mechanic with its own nifty UI that can be accessed as usual by going to other tools and clicking on effects. This panel here is normally empty when you first load the window. I've been messing about with them previously, so uh, it's currently listed all the effects. But uh, you'd start by clicking Update, and very much like the Texture tool, all available effects are searched and listed for the currently loaded map. Note that at this point in time, only effects referenced by the currently loaded map can be seen here and spawned in. It really depends on what map you've got uh, selected at the time. Here we are on Zavod. This is my night version as opposed to the CTE night version in case you thought it looked a little different. Again, like the texture tool, you can access each different effect by going down the list and uh, selecting each category's tree. Select the desired effect and click spawn. So we'll go for uh, fire large. Uh, we'll put it down here. And spawn. That effect now spawns on the location of your camera, be it from the first person soldier or the position of your free camera. When you move back slightly, you'll see the uh, white box which represents the effect. When you point directly at it, you'll see it turns red. And you'll notice the three position vectors which will help you position the effect with the required orientation. In order to activate this or any other effect loaded in, ensure that you have the enable controls box ticked and hit E on the keyboard. If you have multiple effects spawned in, the last effect to be highlighted in red will be the effect that plays when you press E. This is important because it allows you to reposition the camera for your shot and not necessarily have to look directly at the effect in order to trigger it. If it's a, an endless effect like this fire, it will exist on the map until you reload it. So for now, or until Hattie possibly comes up with a solution to stop the effects playing, you may need to just consider where you place them carefully. If it's an effect which has a finite existence, like uh, an explosion, say, Uh, let's use this one here. Once selected, you can repeatedly trigger it by pressing E. An effect can be moved or changed in orientation by pressing Q whilst highlighted. Pressing Q picks it up and move around, press Q again to replace it. Whilst holding it, i.e. after pressing Q for the first time, you can hold E, move your mouse around to rotate the effect. Press Q again to drop. Uh, let's have a look at some, uh, some of the awesome things you can do then.
If you're keen on lighting, as you probably know I am for night maps and things, you'll be interested to see in certain instances and in certain maps, lighting cones are available, which really add to the positional lights that you can place and lights that already exist within the scene but don't look very natural, such as the ones up here. That's how they normally are. They don't really look like they're illuminating anything with the outdoor light turned off. But you can add these cones, which give them a uh, much more realistic effect. If you're ever in doubt about certain aspects of functionality within the tools and you've not seen it demonstrated in one of my videos, ensure that you've read the README file, which comes within the Cinematic Tools download folder. For now, though, guys, uh, that's it. I hope you'll uh, get some use out of these. There's a lot of potential there. Some very exciting things are going to be created in the near future, I imagine. But, uh, for now, I wish you uh, a good day.